Hey, how we doing everybody? Welcome back once again. I appreciate you being here. So I'm outside early this morning and what an awesome day that has started here and I'm going to take advantage of it. It is currently 68 degrees, about 7.30 in the morning and uh, whew, what a difference. Uh, I know y'all out there going through the same thing we've been going through here in the Midwest. Very very hot it makes it hard to get motivated to get out and get anything in the wood yard done but uh, we've been pecking away at it a little at a time uh, those of y'all that are been following along you know we've gotten a new tree service contact and he brought me a massive pile of logs if you haven't seen that you can go back a couple videos and see it but the logs were all the way over to here as you can see the spots in the grass and this is all I've got left. I've been coming out every evening after it cools down and pecking away at it. This log here is the last one I've got to buck up. And this cherry log right here, I'm going to save it. It's got just a little hole right there from some ant damage. But I cut the other end off. And I think I'm going to come up to about right here and cut it off. And i got two walnut logs next door that I'm probably going to send in and have somebody mill it. But... Uh, as you can see, we've got some big ones here. So very fortunate to still have that wolf ridge in my wood yard with a log lift on it because those have got to weigh 350 pounds a piece. I'm, I'm just guessing. But uh, plan is I'm taking advantage of this cooler weather. Really got me fired up to get outside and get something done. So uh, we actually split uh, Evan and I yesterday afternoon. This wall of rounds on the other side of those big oaks was probably about up to here all the way down. And man, with the two of us splitting, helping each other on that wolf ridge, we were really cranking out the splits. I think Evan hauled um, three or four trailers next door and got it stacked. And then we have been replenishing all our bundle grade wood over here. I know we finished off a tote and got another one almost full, so... It all adds up, right? So that's the plan for me today. Hope you all stick around. We're going to get some splitting done.
right, everybody, I had to stop real quick. Does it get any better than that right there? Splitting red oak. So if you all are wondering, are big rounds worth it? I say yes. If you've got a machine like this with that log lift right there, I have split two of these rounds and I'll throw a tape on it real quick, but look at that beautiful skinless red oak that I'm gonna put aside for our uh, barbecue restaurant customer. And then the rest of it is going into the trailer here for a uh, bundle grade to be stacked over there. There's a half a trailer there almost over a wheelbarrow full there. And I've already dumped a wheelbarrow full over there by the IBC sled. So yeah, definitely worth it. When you get these nice big rounds of oak. Now what I've been splitting is this row over here. Let me just throw a tape on one of these real quick and show you what we got. Let's go on this one right here. It looks like to be about average. I know it's gonna be hard holding the camera doing this. So, 25 inches that way. I mean, it's probably close the other way too. Yeah, right at 24. So yeah, to me, it's worth it. If you've got a log lift and if not, when it's really straight grain like this, if you hit that a couple times with an ax or a maul, it usually pops right open if you don't want to noodle it. Because we all know the mixed emotions on noodling. It does make a mess. Uh, some people say it's hard on your saw. I don't think so. I think as long as you keep it cleaned out, noodle away. But uh, all right, we're going to get back to splitting and I'm probably going to speed some of this up and uh, get something done.
I'd say that's pretty good for three big rounds. Look at how beautiful that is. Restaurant customer would start. I did three of the big rounds that we measured and about five, 12 to 15 inch rounds. So that's pretty good. Some of that uh, on top will go next door, but uh, only a few pieces. So got to get stacked over here in the tote now. Well, there you go everybody a little bit at a time it all adds up um, I'm probably gonna wrap the video up here uh, I'm trying to do two videos a week but uh, with this heat and everything that's been going on uh, in our daily lives it's been kind of hard and uh, let me know what you guys think uh, I'm gonna do this video short and try to put a, a Wednesday video out and then, um, you know, keep the Sunday videos going like usual. But uh, would you like to have a shorter video on Wednesday and then my regular 20, 25 minute long video on Sunday? Let me know what you think on that. Because uh, those of you all out there that do YouTube, you know what I mean. It takes a lot longer to get uh, production on firewood done when you're moving the camera. But uh, that is fine. I enjoy you guys coming back every week. And seeing what we got going on it, uh, it really does mean a lot it, it it's great to interact with y'all on the comments and uh, it makes what I'm doing here a lot more fun because uh, as you all know Evan is getting ready to go off to college in a little over a month so I'm gonna be out here by myself so I'm gonna depend on you guys to uh, to be there with me so uh, appreciate all the new subscribers man there's been a a big increase in subscribers over the last just seven days and uh, really makes it worth it you know toting that camera around and getting this footage so let me know what you think on the Wednesday video or would you rather have a longer Sunday video uh, either way I'm gonna continue to make content because I truly enjoy it and uh, I'm gonna get this bundle grade stacked and then I gotta run some less desirables next door and continue to split so Appreciate y'all being here. Until next time, get outside. We'll see ya.